Now that we have our iOS application, let's define the user interface to allow the user to enter their height, their width, and calculate their BMI, and of course, take a look at their BMI. Before we get started though, I need to warn you, we're going to be defining the UI for a specific phone. Because in iOS, when you define the UI, it's a little bit more complicated than just dragging and dropping things. Because it, sh it should look the same way on an iPhone 4S, which has a 3.5 inch screen, and on an iPad, which has a 9.7 inch screen. Or maybe not the same, but it should look good, you know? So that's a little bit more complicated and we may take a deep dive into that in the coming lectures. Right now, we're just going to be defining the UI for a single phone. So you should come all the way here to the generic dropdown and select one of the phones that you want to target right now or that you want to design for right now. I'm going to be using the iPhone 6 Plus and it's going to show me a designer for the iPhone 6 Plus. If I were to choose another, it would show a designer for that specific device. Now, this doesn't mean that you create a design for each of these devices. It just means that the designer will display it the way it will show on the actual device. But on the real world, you'll actually want to design the, phone, the, the, the application so it looks good on any device. Anyway, so I'm with, I will design this for an iPhone 6 Plus and let's start dragging the elements that are going to be needed. I'm going to open the toolbox and I'm going to look for labels first because I want to let the user know uh, what's going on, right? I'm going to be asking for a height. I'm going to be asking for a weight. And I'm going to be displaying the BMI. I'm also going to be needing a way for the user to write the values. A text field is great for that. So I'm going to drag two text fields, one for the height and one for the weight. And finally, the user should be able to press something for the calculation to begin. So I'm going to drag a button. Now I have the basic things that are required for my application to fully work. But this is not the way that they should be displayed. So for example, this label, it shouldn't say label. So I'm going to go to the property section to the right side of my IDE. I'm going to change the values. Now, I have layout, I have events, and I have widget. If I select widget, I actually can change the text that is going to be displayed in that label. In this case, I'm just going to write height. And just like that, my label no longer says label. Of course, I may need to make this a little bit bigger so it displays the entire text. I'm going to be doing this for all of the elements to modify them in a way that they are great. Okay, so I've made some changes and it looks better, right? I also changed the text from the text field and I said a placeholder text that will appear while the user doesn't write anything on the text field. I also changed the button a little bit and I changed the font from this label in here. I changed the color and it changed its size. Now that we have the basic UI, in the next lecture we're going to code the functionality. Hi, thanks all for watching this video. If you enjoy it or you want to learn more about Xamarin and C Sharp, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Also, if you want access to the full Xamarin course that I have in Udemy, I'll make sure to drop a very good discount in the description down below. Very good discount, you should check it out. So thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video or inside the course. Bye-bye. That was good.